this administration will continue to give maximum support to the Polytechnic and to other state-owned tertiary institutions with a view to ensuring that the current high standards are maintained and are improved upon. I am pleased to note that the state government has approved, as acknowledged by your rector, the construction of your perimeter fence at the Kurudu campus to put a stop to further encroachment of the, of the Polytechnic's land. In the same vein, I'm also happy to let you know that you'll be getting your befitting administrative block and the mini fire station very soon as the award has been approved. But just to also mention, because I was listening to when the rector, when he was rolling out a list of their requests, I'm also going to confirm to you that the student accommodation has been done in a PPP model in Lasso and in Lasso Com. I have instructed the special advisor education to put in motion immediately how it can also bring about the same model of student accommodation to your polytechnic. We'll also be considering how we need to complete your mini stadium, understanding how important sports and sporting facility is critical to the to the development of students in the Polytechnic. The welfare of the Polytechnic staff is also a priority to this administration. I must say that all of you have paid your dues and you're now being rewarded with certificates that attest to what you have gained here in terms of knowledge and skills. But you will see education as more than just a certificate. You must see today as a challenge to you to go out there into the world to prove yourself in practical terms what you have learned. This, in my view, is just the beginning and not an end in itself. The acquisition of your certificate today is just the beginning of greater and bigger things that can happen to you. For some of you, further education awaits you. Take it up. For some of you, it's the job market that awaits you. Take it up. And for others, you'll be looking at the world of entrepreneurship. Take it with all of the boldness that comes with it and run with it. I urge you to follow your dream while keeping an eye on the opportunity around you. Be mindful of the fact that opportunity lies in the midst of the challenges and difficulties that you, must, that you might face. You will never be assured that it's all bed of roses. There will be challenges. There will be opportunities in those challenges. Each time you have a challenge, see it as a litmus test for you to rise up and face the challenge frontally. Many of the things people complain about contain in the opportunities for enterprising people to make a difference. And I can look at your faces, I see a set that is ready to face that challenge and surmount them as they move on in life. You are supposed to apply the same dedication that you have demonstrated in your course of study to your life endeavors because your attitude will in a long way go at realizing the set dreams that you have for yourselves. Character and integrity is also very vital. You will not go far in life without them. You must hold them very well. Reset the temptation to cut corners. Do not cut corners. Be forthright, be straightforward. And in hard work, there's always a reward. And strive to deliver the highest level of quality at all times. Finally, self-development is critical. Stay hungry for knowledge. Never rest on your oars. Never believe that this is the height of it. Never believe that this is the best that you can be. Always strive and say to yourself that my best days are still ahead of me. And that's what I want to leave you with. As you step out from here into the world as graduates, I encourage you to be good ambassador of this polytechnic. You are now partakers of an enduring legacy and it is your responsibility to sustain that legacy and take it 
to the next level.